Hello everyone, this is the second video in a series of probably three videos about BT test equipment. This one is a JDSU branded or made HST3000 test unit for copper telephone lines. Uh, possibly also does Ethernet as well, I haven't played about with that setting yet. Has the ability to have a network cable plugged into it and a USB stick which I think will store result possibly also stores the um, operating system for the device I'm afraid I don't fully know on that and on the right hand side uh, there's also another network or possibly RJ11 plug as well a removable battery And this one has zip tied to it the three test leads. So there's a, I guess, an A and a B or a plus and a minus. And then the green one is for grounding or earthing yourself. Or well, not yourself, but uh, the device onto something which has uh, ground. It does take quite a long time to switch on and start up. For this test I'm going to be using a BT converter uh, with little metal clips on the side so you just clip on your crock leads or your test leads uh, onto the pins that you want and then plug the converter into the telephone socket. And I'm going to plug the earth, or not plug, clip the earth onto the back of a computer case which will be uh, grounded or earthed. Compared to the BT Hawk and the BT Mole, this JDSU is stunning. So easy to navigate, uh, has more functions I think, and um, especially in the case of finding a line disconnect, it tells you where it is rather than uh, leaving it you, to you to interpret a graph. So in the standard mode it will just do a continuous test and you do have to use your brain to identify where the disconnection is. In this case it's showing as 850 for the peak but the disconnection will be at the, the leading edge of that peak. If you go down to auto ID it will automatically do it for you and identify where the disconnection is. There we are, disconnected at 788 metres, which matches what the BT mole had discovered for the disconnection and also looking on a map and plotting out where I know the disconnection was due to some stolen copper. Um, it matches exactly where the uh, JDSU and the mole came up with the disconnection. But as you can see on there, it putting dis and then the distance is a whole lot easier than just trying to interpret a graph. So now I don't know much about how this device works so I'm just going to blindly click through some of the uh, the options and hopefully it's interesting to you to see what each screen looks like. The other option to identify disconnects is to go into the main menu and disk capacitors capacitance option and then press the OK button and it will 
do a consistent or constant measurement. This will also do ADSL and VDSL testing and also looks like it has an Ethernet test port as well. Maybe I will do another video on the Ethernet side of it and possibly the VDSL and ADSL side of it if I get a chance. Um, especially the ADSL and VDSL will require me to disconnect somebody's line that's already in use. Uh, so quite disruptive and, and uh, annoying if somebody's trying to do work over it or whatever. And just as a comparison, here's what happens if I plug it into a working phone line, so one that does manage to reach the telephone exchange. You've got 2.7 kilometres of uh, phone. If I then unplug it from that working phone line and plug it into the broken phone line, uh, you can see that initially it measures 400 metres. I think it's because one of the clips had come undone. And then it will go up to the 800 metres where the line break is. Uh, when I manage to clip on that second uh, crop clip back onto the test uh, converter. There we go. Hopefully that has been a fairly interesting video about the JDSU. If you are in the business of uh, trying to find broken distances on copper pairs, so possibly or most certainly telephone lines and possibly Ethernet, uh, I would highly recommend this device. An incredibly good tool. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.